So the judiciary is uh, a plan. We, we, we have it in the, the transformation framework. One of the major pillars is to take our services to the people. We call that access to justice. The, so the reason for that Distances to get to court. I remember very well when I was serving as a judge of the High Court in Mombasa. One time I had to sit almost up to 7 o'clock because the police told me that some witnesses who had been uh, brought to Mombasa court to testify had come the previous night, the previous day, slept outside the police station, and if I didn't finish that case, they would have had to sleep again in the police station. I sympathized and I sat until past uh, 7 o'clock and finished the evidence of those witnesses so that we could uh, uh, clear with them. Why am I telling you that? I'm telling you that that because our people travel from very long distances to get to court, both witnesses and uh, and even the accused persons and those who are doing uh, civil cases. So the policy of the judiciary is to uh, try as much as possible to build courts as close to the people as we can. Uh, that is a challenge because of uh, the, the, the the budget. Uh, constraints, uh, and I want to say here that we have had those challenges, but uh, uh, honorable members of uh, parliament, those challenges are being addressed by those challenges are being addressed as late as uh, yesterday morning. I was actually with the, the chair of uh, uh, Justice and Legal Affairs Committee and the chair of uh, uh, Budget in Parliament, Honorable Ichungwa and the Tumu, as well as, as well as the CS Treasury, and those challenges of uh, the budget are being uh, sorted out. And, uh, but then as we come to the new financial year, we are going to give our budget, and, and, and what I want actually to do is with regard to court infrastructure, because I have had, uh, uh, is it Honorable Aduma, say that you, you want a court in uh, uh, Sondum Rio. I want to throw that to the members of parliament give you a master plan of where we want to build courts so that it becomes now your duty to say, look, this year let's build one in Sonumirio, another one in Trukana, another one in Mombasa, like that, so that we, 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 we have them dotted all over the country. And then the following year you, you do the same. In a few years we will have uh, uh, courts in the all the 290 sub-counties in, I mean, in this country so that uh, our people can uh, access services. We, so we are trying to, to do uh, what we can and uh, be able to uh, have courts as close to the people as possible. Honorable um, Onyango Koyo, uh, Tam Kut, I don't know uh, the name. <laughs> Tam Lokot, Honorable uh, Ocheng was telling me we should change the name because it is in Moroni and the Tam is far away from there. I, I don't know the, how that is. I, I will support that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the court is almost complete, so we will be opening it soon and, uh, and, 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 and uh, be able to serve our people from there. It is important to have. Uh, a modern building. 
It motivates the staff. I was with my staff this morning. They told me what they have been going through. It is not only uh, Mr. Nyango who had his uh, trousers stone <laughs> because of the of the what of the of the furniture. But the staff are motivated, and I'm happy that uh, they are also eager and uh, anxious to move into the new building so that they can serve you from there. The building has been designed. We do the, 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 the designing of the buildings in conjunction with the court users of the area. Because we don't want to assume that we know everything. We want the court users, Mr. Chairman, we want the court users to be involved, the Wanainji to be involved in the court. After all, they are the ones who are coming to use this court to be involved in the design. So I'm told this one has been designed. What did you call the fish? Okoko. Okoko. <laughs> that is because of the involvement of the court, court users uh, 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 committee. Uh, so uh, we, 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 we are happy that this, this has uh, been done and the construction is uh, complete. Where is the, the, the con contractor? Is he here? Well, yes, uh, you have done a good job. There are a few things I, I noted there. I have told the architect I would like you to, I'm sure you will clear them so that the building, before we, we wind over completely, so that the building is, uh, is usable. Uh, so we want to uh, assure you that we are going to continue uh, serving you in the new building as a uh, as, as we do. We want to deal with the cases and the case backlogs which have been deviling our goods for a long time. Because of that, we want, we have rolled out what we call court, med court annexed mediation. Court annexed mediation is a way of dealing with quite a number of cases which can be resolved very easily. Honorable members, cases like succession. You know, succession is the sons and daughters of a deceased person who are uh, uh, rivaling over the sharing of what their father or mother left. Why should such a case come to court and, uh, and, and, and the drag there for years? We want those cases to be uh, dealt with by court and next mediation, and we want to involve uh, court mediators who will bring these people together and settle those cases. You know, when you settle those cases, especially those ones involving the, the family members, it is a win-win situation. They go home happy, and they remain brothers and sisters and continue uh, uh, staying there. So I want to urge Wanainji to use that uh, method of uh, resolving cases and we will solve quite a number of cases, including the ones of, uh, of, of, of land. Some of them are uh, boundary disputes. Eh? Boundary disputes. There are elders uh, around there who know where the boundary was and can assist the court so that we, we, we don't have uh, uh, many cases coming to court which should be uh, resolved as quickly as possible. That way we will be able to deal with the cases that are uh, very many coming, very many to court and finalize them and move on. I want to say something about the cases we are dealing with in court. We are handling cases, some of which are sensitive. Right now we are dealing with the corruption cases. I mean, last, last week I launched the, what we call the organizational structure of the judiciary. Why did we do that? The organizational structure of the judiciary 
is one way of uh, organizing the structure of the judiciary so that even the, 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 the staff know their level, who they are reporting to, who is doing what. And for those who know what uh, the, the, the importance of an organizational structure, you know it is an effort in offering a vision service to the public. When we are doing that, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> this morning I was reading in the, 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 the newspapers somebody saying the rot in the judiciary because of the organizational structure that we have come up with. Instead of raising us, they are saying it is the rot. Okay, there are problems. There are problems in the judiciary. Just like there are problems in other institutions. When we are reorganizing, please support us so that we can offer uh, better services to the judiciary. I'm sure that uh, the, 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 those who reported that, if they look at our structure seriously, they will see what we are trying to do. And uh, they will support us so that we uh, are able to offer efficient services to the judiciary. The other thing I, I, I know, I don't normally respond to criticisms against the, the judiciary. Or myself as an individual, but there are times when it is amusing. Archbishop uh, Okot, this morning I saw uh, in the social media, I have been given another title the High Priest of Corruption. <laughs> I am the high priest of corruption. I have never denied that there is corruption in the, in the judiciary. Corruption is all over in the country. We have problems in the judiciary. We have had cases of corruption in the judiciary. We have sacked quite a number of judicial officers because of being involved in corruption. So there is nothing. Uh, we are hiding about that. Because of the unfair criticism of some judges last week and the week before, and I came up to their defense. Nam mtazamaji huyo ni judge mkuu David Maraga katika ufunguzi rasmi wa mahakama kuu kundi mahakama kuu ya Nyando mbali na hayo twarudi hapa Nairobi ambapo baadhi ya viongozi wanatoa taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari kuhusiana na kupitishwa na kutiwa saini kwa bei ya mahindi ya shilingi 2000 